this morning, I had a bit of a late start. I just feeling very tired. Maybe it's the maybe it's the moon. I decided just to take a little bit slower today. Got a few things I need to do. I've also been thinking about getting a haircut. It's always a bit risky because it took me forever to grow my hair. But I've been thinking about getting a fringe, like one of those. I don't know, 70s or 80s fringes. Let's see if I can simulate one now and see what you think. What do you reckon? Hey? Maybe it's because I've been watching too much Stranger Things. I know it's one of those things where you get the fringe, you don't like the fringe, and then you you stuck with it. Sort of a bold move. But I'm going to keep for something a little bit different. But I'll put some reference pictures up and see what you think. Maybe this can be a group decision. Frank? Are you gonna get up now? Are you gonna still stay in bed? This dog is an absolute princess. Hey? Very cute though. So. So, I have recently picked up this little guy. It is a wellness journal by Moleskin, and I was just going to go get some regular writing pages. They've got these like cheaper line pages, which are super nice, and I find that, uh, especially with things that are, I find a little challenging, if it's more attractive, it helps me do them. But I saw this guy on the shelf and I was quite interested. It's broken up into four sections. You've got your personal goals, fitness, diet, and health and body care. Within these sections, there are frameworks that one can fill in essentially. And here's an example. Here is a an idea here. So you've got your Monday to Sunday. You've got your things that you can fill in, which is quite cool. So I've been using this book for a little while and it's reminded me of a time when I was younger when I would go see the psychologist and at the time I was struggling with anxiety and depression and I remember she asked me whether I thought I was depressed or whether I thought I was struggling with anxiety and at the time I was in denial so I said no no, no this is crazy there's no ways I'm a depressed person I laugh I still have a sense of humor this just doesn't sound like me and my life seems pretty good so I don't know what's actually going on in my life and then she suggested that I write down every day for 30 days how I'm really feeling and she gave me this framework it's a piece of paper where you can write down you score certain sections of your life and energy motivation whatever it may be and you do it for your morning, afternoon, and night. And then over the 30 days, you look back and you can see a true reflection of how you're feeling. And the interesting thing was, when I did it, I was nowhere near as happy as I thought I was. And she was explaining that as humans within the psychology, you tend to keep your past as more of a positive reflection, just as a coping mechanism. And it's very difficult to judge how you are by looking at the past. At that point, I realized that I wasn't as happy as I thought I was. In fact, I was really not happy. And it was easy for me to accept and then to make the necessary steps to bring some wellness in my life. And this thing has been quite a cool reminder because it, one doesn't always feel good all the time and my mental health is turbulent. And over the years, I've learned to kind of ride this thing, but I can also inflate my own reflection on what I'm doing in my life to make myself feel good. If you would like to add this into your routine, it could be a nice option. You don't necessarily need the book. You could just do it similarly on your pages, where then you can take note of, you know, how you're feeling and what you're doing to make your life easier. One thing I do, which helps me a lot, is that I always put my yoga mat out. I never have it rolled up because the unraveling of the mat is super difficult for me. But if it's there, I can just step onto it and it makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so this week we've got something a little bit different on the cooking side of this channel. Um, I've asked a friend of mine, his name's Andrew, he owns a, a restaurant called Thompson's in Cape Town. It's delicious, it's my favorite restaurant, and if you haven't been there, I would highly recommend it. I've asked him to cook us something simple and approachable, uh, just because that's how I like to cook, and that's the kind of value I think is in there for viewers out there, or you color yogis. So I'm very excited, I'm knowing him, it's gonna be 
delicious and I hope that you guys like it. If you do try it at home, please let me know. I'd love to see your take on it. And if you have any other suggestions on the cooking side, feel free to let me know. How's it going? You're welcome. Sweet! <laughs> This is where I'm at at the moment, and it's been a very interesting journey. Now this little paragraph explains my week pretty well. Commit yourself to a weekly artist date, and then watch your killjoy side try to wriggle out of it. Watch how the sacred time gets easily encroached upon, or suddenly involves a third party. Learn to guard against these invasions. There's lots of creativity in yoga, and I feel like because we are all creative beings, there is a huge sense of freedom in one's thinking and one's being in a creative sense, not just, you know, like paint to canvas, but in every sense of life. And I am determined to unlock my creative child. So this week it talks about an artist date. The idea with this book is that when you do the morning pages, you put out, you transmit energy into the universe, putting out a signal, uh, an intention. And the idea with the artist state is that you receive insights, inspiration, and guidance from the creative world. Okay, so the Tankwa Art Appreciation Society held a live drawing event at the Kali Yoga Studio this week. 
and that was my artist date. The interesting thing is about the book is that it says that you need to set a date and go out on this excursion to receive creative inspiration and defend it at all costs. So I took the opportunity, I set that as a date and I just observed how much resistance came up leading to the event and it was hysterical and at the end of the day it was actually really amazing. The idea with the event is that you come in and then there's a live artist and a whole bunch of people come into the room and there's a professional artist and the interesting thing was that they opened up with these very very quick two minute opportunities to draw so you have to like really speed your process up and that doesn't give you much time to think you just put pencil to paper and draw and the hilarious thing was was that I think that the, my two minute drawings were miles better than my 15 minute drawings. I didn't want to show anyone this, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, so this was my first attempt, and this was number one, where we had two minutes to draw, and I managed to get a head and neck and some shoulders. Number two, starting to get the idea, and then number three, I was like, okay, cool, we really have to speed this along because we don't have much time. Second round at two minutes, which got a lot better, and as you can see, I managed to get some shapes out um, and I was feeling a lot better about what I was trying to do because I think at this point with two minutes, you don't have that much time to think. This might may have been three minutes or four minutes, starting to get a little bit more detail, starting to play with a little bit more depth, which is quite cool. And then this was my 15 minute attempt, which is interesting because with this, I think I had a little bit too much time to think. So I guess the takeaway would be, Perhaps you want to take yourself out on an artist date and I recommend going to a class or going to go see a movie, something at the theatre, uh, an exhibition, go for a walk, shoot a roll of film, tons of stuff. Just go out of your comfort zone, set the date, preferably an excursion and notice the resistance leading up to it. And the comical thing for me was that uh, I was resisting the entire process but the time frame of that sort of like two minute window uh, allowed for my thinking mind to step aside and my creative process to unfold and it was super interesting. Ah!